Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. Today we will see how to write and read from the internal EA prompt of the ESP8266. The advantage of the EA prompt is that uh, values are kept when the board is turned off, like a tiny hard drive. First, let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tunyot for ESP8266. In any program using the EA prompt, you should call only once the begin block. The size of the EA prompt is 512 byte, so no need to change that. You can compare it to a set of 512 boxes. The first one is numbered 0 and the last one is 511. These boxes can contain numbers of 8 bits, which means from 0 to 255. In our program, we will try to fill the first 5 bytes. Uh, sorry, 4 bytes. In the main loop, I will display these values again with a delay of 1 second between every display. Now I can upload the program and see the result. As you can see, I have here the values I've already written. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.